Har! <laughs> we be going in for some close quarters fighting next time. In the workshop. Ha ha <laughs> Welcome back to the workshop where we are working on more piratey goodness. <laughs> Today we be looking at Robert Maynard. He's part of the British Navy. And I don't know how many pirates he took down. But it doesn't matter because it's going to be a fun miniature to paint anyway. Ha <laughs> Alright, yeah, enough of that. So now we're going to get back at it. So today, like I said, we are going to go with Robert Maynard. He's part of the British Royal Navy. And this is from a game called Blood and Plunder, also from Firelock Games. Uh, remember last episode, we painted some small ships. As a matter of fact, I have them... Right here is a little ship right there. Bee. And now we're going to go from our little ship to a pirate. Well, he's not a pirate. He's a pirate hunter, probably. Um, but he looked like he would be a lot of fun, a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting uh, shapes and stuff like that. So... Even though he's on the side of the good guys, depending on depending on how you want to look at it, um, I thought he'd be a lot of fun to a lot of fun to paint. So we are going to start off by painting his coat. And we are probably going to use my nice Cantor Blue to start with. sure if he's going to work so well on one of my handles. Well, we're going to see. Boop. Well, handle holds him. So we're going to use the handle. Now what we're going to do right now is what we do at the start of every miniature. I'm going to start blocking in some of the colors and then we're going to fine tune it. So unfortunately I have not had a chance to get my get any playtime in with these games. Uh, but it looks like a perfect way to go from you know, from a navy, navy scale to a more personal scale. So, uh, I mean, this is a this is a pretty big box. And it comes with and this is the two part this is the two player starter too and if you give me a second here I'll kind of show you what the what the starting box looks like
I mean, this thing, the starting, the starting box, not just come, doesn't just come with, uh, with, with pirates and with, uh, um, members of the British Navy. It comes with freaking boats. Now the boats are not exactly, you know, the small. small deal either they're quite uh, they're quite large and uh, they will be a ton of fun put together when I get there but for now we're just gonna take this guy we're just gonna kinda take him up for a bit of a for a bit of a paint we're gonna Put him together. The other captain that you get with this set is, I believe, Blackbeard. And again, you know, when I kind of take a minute to show you the size of the the box, and again, this is the two-player starter box. Uh, I'll grab the other card. And we can take a look. So like I said, the guy that I'm doing right now is Robert Maynard. He is, uh, we, I guess it would be Captain Maynard. He, uh, he sails under the British flag. Which means that he is part of the British Royal Navy. We're doing the, the Tri Point hat. Now I am being neat about it, but we don't have to be overly neat about it. Because I mean, we're, you know, wherever we go over, whatever we go over, we can go back and fix up later. Get some of the 
All right, since I'm done the blue now, uh, we will take a second and I am going to show you the the lid to the to the blood and plunder box. Now I'm going to have to back up just a little bit. Because that's the size of the box right there. I, I can't even... There we go. And again, like it, you know, like it states right down here, it says two-player starter set so it's quite the quite the box it's also pretty thick lots of stuff in it there's lots of terrain water islands all kinds of cool stuff and the other character the other uh captain of the fleet is Edward Teach. Do it that way. Otherwise known as Blackbeard. So if you want to play the, you know, if you want to play the the pirates, the pirate side, to start off, you get Blackbeard and Robert Maynard. Robert Maynard is a legendary commander, and well, so is Blackbeard. And uh, looks like it'll be a lot of fun once I get there. Uh, one of the other things that I wanted to show you was I'm not taking it out. This is for one one side, one army. Inside, you get I know we kind of covered this in the live unboxing before, but this stuff is really cool. You get Two sprues, of piratey, piratey crew, same in the other box, and then, let's put Robert off to the side, there is one sprue. Two sprue. Three sprue, and you can, you know, you can see that the boat is a pretty good size. So, one, two, three sprues. Four sprues, sorry, are just your boat. What a that's crazy! Just the just the size. So you you've done your skirmish, you know you've done your skirmish with with blood and iron. And now you want to take it to the next level. So now you go on to Blood and Plunder. And now you've kind of gone from, from you know, from this view of the world to that view of the, you know, to that view of the world. Which I think is kind of a neat. I mean, it's two different games. You don't have to get both of them. Uh, but if you do. 
that's you know it's just gonna enhance I think it's just gonna absolutely enhance uh, your game night or your gaming weekend or however you choose to do it because you can you know you can re reenact certain battles you can uh, do different things okay so what I'm doing now I'm taking my Zandri dust and I'm doing his his breeches or otherwise known as pants for those of us not in the know just going to be again uh, where we've kind of already put the blue we're going to try and keep it a little bit tidy Uh, and once it's dry we're going to give it a give it a wash and while that is while that is drying we're going to move on to other parts And we're just going to keep this painting train going. and lots of little parts to painting this guy. And I like his white socks and his white shirt and all that fun fun stuff and there's a lot of detail on these miniatures I mean these are multi-part miniatures so it's great you get to you get to kind of put them together and pose it a little bit Now, I'm painting these ones again, you know, 
historically historically accurate or at least as historically accurate as the cards that I have here allow me to but these colors just don't just don't do it for you don't be tied into these colors do kind of want almost a well no the uh, the socks and everything are a little bit more of a actual white white than a cream. Take some of the ghost gray from uh, Vallejo paints. It's actually very quickly becoming one of my favorite paints. are going to put on the make it look bigger hat so I have a little bit more control over what I'm doing and I can actually see what it is that I'm doing kind and as gentle as I can. We're locking in our white. to do the same over on the right foot.
to stock and heat. And we're going to stop right there for a second. Because while we did that, the pants fully dried. we're going to do is we're going to take some of our you know, solid go-to Agrax Earthshade wash that so that the we get shade in the recesses of the pants while we're letting that dry. That's when we're going to go on and continue to do his shirt. to they can get it into all the spots too much and it just doesn't look good anymore and we're gonna leave that
now. Part of it's going to be a little tough because part of it is obstructed by the sword. So we're just going to have to do our best. Kind of work around it. Just working. Working the colors best as we can. We're doing our, our best to paint around the wrists and all that kind of stuff. Because he does have a white cup that shows. As you can see, he's coming along quite nicely. Well, maybe you haven't been, but anyway. That's so far, anyway. And if you haven't, I sincerely apologize, as I usually do, when I realize that I have been pulling my miniatures off screen. Oh, 
pants are almost dry. This is great, because then we can go on and fix those. But while we're waiting for that to dry, and we still have the white, we are going to skip over to his hat. For that, I'm going to put away that one. And I am going to go to my detail brush. Something with just a little bit more control. Because upon his hat, much like mine, Just carries on around all three sides. Bad. Coming around to the final side, the hat.
there we go. Now he's got his white around his around his hat. But that's not the real well, that's not the only reason why I pulled out the uh the detail brush. Bugsman Glow, my lovely go-to for skin tone, or for the start of skin tone anyway. Especially if I'm doing Caucasian. And <laughs> oh, the British Navy back then was nothing but Caucasian. figure out where the fingers and everything are on his pistol hand And now I also have an idea of where the flintlock pistol it comes out of the hand. We're beginning to put a face. This this fella. point it go at it again
that's not bad. Possibly could have done well with sub assemblies, but I was just so excited to put together a you know So excited to put together one of the guys from the from the box that I didn't even didn't even stop to think. I was just like, oh, I want to put them all together, or at least one. Okay. There we are. It's coming together. Now we're going to go back to that. Andrew Dust. Well, actually. That is an energy dust color. I'm going to start working up those pants. sure that we leave a lot of that color a lot of the, the shade you know in the shady spots As you can see, we're working things up, brightening them back up again.
think it'll look uh, starting to come along pretty good. Kind of see how we started brightening it up, but as you can see, putting together little tiny pirates can be a ton of fun. Because I mean, you get to do all kinds of fantastic things. And then you'll have a small band of buccaneers to roam your seven seas of your gaming tables. And hopefully, one day I'll actually get into uh, painting one of the... Er, <laughs> painting... That's what I'm doing right now. I'm painting. Uh, playing one of these one of these games. Oops. You know, I can't even tell if he's blonde or brown haired or so I'm going to make a judgment call, and I'm going to put him in a light brown. Give him a light brown hair. I think. But no, no. These aren't bad little, uh, aren't bad little miniatures. You know, I love the fact that they're, that they're multi-part. So, you know, it does give you, uh, some of it is, especially when you're dealing with, with the captains, it is pretty straightforward. But when you get into the crew, uh, the crew have lots of different um, options. You know, you can have pikes or well, spears, I guess. Rifles, swords, and pistols, a variety of different heads. There's all kinds of things. So, this, you know, this is quite, quite nice and quite wide open for, for what you might want to build. Which is nice. I like it. It's one of the, it's one of the things that I really, really like about, uh, about miniature, uh, miniature gaming building painting is i don't mind uh mono pose or sing or even or, or even single piece miniatures but i do like a little bit of flexibility in my miniatures i like to be able to pose you know have a little bit of pose maybe some options um not only that but uh, not only because it's just a lot more fun and you just get uh, you know, you get you get some creativity with what you've got, but it also gives you what we what we call a bits box, and that whatever parts you don't use can go all into this bits box. So you know, maybe somewhere down the road you have a need of a pirate sword or a pirate arm or something. And you can go digging through your bits box and go, this will work. Uh, 
and then use it for your next modeling, gaming, hobbying, terrain project. Uh, I think it's great. So, anyway, from uh... <laughs> oh, look at that, hey. Eh? He's got a wool, he's got a white stripe, and I be gotten a white stripe just on me hat, just like him. So, from Robert Maynard, from Captain Maynard, ha ha ha, of the Royal British Navy, and myself, ye old paint slinger, I just want to say to you, stay safe, be safe, and most of all, Paint safe, and don't let any pirates be boarding your, boarding your ships. <laughs> All right.